Amanda still been pregnant since season two. Can y'all explain what's going on right there? Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Niecy Dixon and today we're gonna talk insecure while I do my makeup to go to the living room. I just got some makeup brushes from Amazon. These are the BS Small makeup brushes. It was 26 pieces, I believe. I don't have anywhere to go, but I really wanted to test out these makeup brushes. So today I'm about to do a basic makeup look, which if you really know me, you know my always makeup is a basic makeup look. If you wanna get looks, if you wanna get beat faces and slays, then you have to go to Ashley's YouTube channel. But for this, we just gonna talk insecure and do makeup. So I've already moisturized my face. Now I'm going to go in and color correct where I have dark spots from scars on my face. While I do that, let's jump into the episode. Issa and Kendola have already gotten weirdness out of the way, which I think is a good thing. I mean, why should Issa mess up her money behind Lawrence? I mean, what do y'all think? Do y'all think it's weird for Kendola and Issa to be friends or are you on team Molly? Molly was like, oh, well, you just like things to be messy, right? That's what Molly said in episode one whenever Issa talked about how much she liked Kendola. For one, I mean, I'm gonna stick with what I said. I really don't think Issa should mess up her money behind Lawrence. I mean, he only been dating a girl for like a month. And then we get a pleasant surprise. <laughs> um, TSA Bay is back. Issa's back with a uh, wintertime thick boy. Are y'all here for it or no? Nah? I mean, low key, TSA Bay has been more supportive than all the other guys that Issa has dated in the past. I see potential besides the fact that she brought up that he has two kids and one on the way. So maybe that may be the last of TSA Bay. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I think it's good that Issa and Condola are cool. What else happened? Molly, Molly and Asian Bay slash Andrew are progressing. Next, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal True Match. I have L'Oreal True Match in number W9 Spice Latte. Um, I tried this because it was actually on clearance at Target and I've actually been quite impressed this is the only thing next to like fit me and of course fenty that fits my face pretty much perfect but i haven't worn makeup this whole quarantine so who knows i might have changed colors from sitting inside the house all day so next i'm about to go ahead and dab my foundation on my face <laughs> but Issa is a hot mess um She's a hot mess. So <laughs> after she left TSA Bay's house, this girl done got the condom stuck inside of her. I can't deal. But back to Andrew and Molly. Andrew and Molly are progressing. However, Molly feels that Andrew is not opening up. On one hand, Molly is toxic AF. And on the other hand, she might be right. Um, Andrew does not want to open up to her at all. And I wonder if it's like his genuine personality, like a form of protection. Is Andrew not opening up because he wants to protect himself? Or is Andrew hiding something? Because you know how Molly likes to pick him. But other than that, you know, it's Halloween season. Amanda Seals been pregnant since season two. Can y'all explain what's going on right there? Amanda Steele has been pregnant since... Ooh, all right. So as far as this brush right here, I don't feel like this brush is really blending the makeup the way it should. I'm really struggling. I might have to go in and use my Kabuki brush from Miss A. This is a mess. Okay, but anyway, 
Um, their Halloween costumes were all super cute. Um, honorable mention for Halloween costumes will have to go out to Miss Kelly. I love Kelly with the um uh, with the Babs Halloween costume. I mean, she would have to have the showstopper costume out of everybody. But yeah. All right, besides Halloween, what else goes on in the episode? Lawrence is uncomfortable finding out that his ex-girlfriend and his current girlfriend have been getting together and talking about him. Personally, personally, I think Lawrence is tripping because he still wants Issa. I mean, yes, I get it. You can feel uncomfortable you can feel uncomfortable about two people talking about you, but they barely grazed your name, Lawrence. You are a non-factor. Chill out. Lawrence was really, I don't think that it was urgent enough for him to actually pull up on Issa. He talked to Chad and he talked to Tiffany's husband and they told him, don't text Issa. Like, don't even open up that box of worms. Well, what does he do? Instead of texting Issa, he decides to pull up on her without Kendola knowing. Side note, who the F named this character Kendola? I want to speak to the manager. I want to know. Why are y'all naming this girl Kendola? I've never heard of that name before. Uh, the closest thing I can think of is Condoleezza. Um, if y'all know anybody named Kendola, comment below. Tag them. Tell them to watch this video. <laughs> I want to know who is Condola. All right. Next for my no makeup, makeup look, I'm going to go in with this concealer. I just purchased. I'm late to the show, but we ordered it. I just purchased the Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer from NYX. Here it goes. Acting like a real YouTuber. Zoom. <laughs> Focus. Um, I just purchased the Can't Stop, Won't Stop contour concealer and this is in the color warm honey i try to get it to match my la girl concealer that i usually always wear so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on all right so after lawrence talks to chad and tiffany's husband about his ex-girlfriend and his current girlfriend having conversations about him Coincidentally, Kendala and Issa meet up again for a meeting. This time, Molly pops up. And it's evident that Molly is feeling some type of way about Issa being cool with Kendala. Do you think it's for the genuine interest of Issa? Like, hey, this is too messy, leave that alone. Or do you think it's like a little bit of jealousy? Do you think she feels threat? Do you think that Molly sees Kendola as some sort of threat? Or it could just be for the protection of Issa. If you wanna know what I think, I think Molly's a hater. <laughs> I said it, I said it. I think Molly's a hater. Molly is one of those types of friends who will down talk you um and pretty much don't want you doing better than them you know people who kind of cheer you on because they want that whole oh well let me let me show you the way i know the way type of thing i think molly thinks that you know she has some sort of guidance over Issa. and if condola comes into the picture and you know forges this friendship with Issa, molly could be using her uh, losing her credibility who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'm looking into it too deep. I mean, they only give us 30 minute episodes and then we have to go in and act like a dang psychologist just to get more out of the episode. Um, but anyway, Lawrence pulls up on Issa and basically says, can you please stop talking? I mean, on one hand, you could say Lawrence is not over Issa. And then on the other hand, you could say, yeah, he truly is over her. One thing that made me kind of question that was whenever Issa called him on the phone and was like, hey, did you tell Condola that we met up? And then she was just like, hey, how are you doing? And Lawrence was like, we can hang up now. <laughs> so I don't know. They kind of got this like awkward friendship type thing going on. Personally, I do not want Issa and Lawrence to get back together. I feel like Issa and Lawrence. So I just did this part and I'm like low-key blending it. I don't know. So I feel like 
Issa and Lawrence have grown separately as characters and I don't want to see them back together like just kill that storyline like I'm done with it I low-key don't mind Lawrence with Kendola now I just like to see what mess comes of this relationship with Kendola and Issa anyway now to the dinner date with Molly and Andrew Molly's up here cooking some too salty gumbo that even Asian Bay knew did not taste right. Shout out to Asian Bay. He had to tell you about that gumbo. They have dinner and you know things is, things seem to be going well. However, Andrew just is not opening up. And then Molly turns it into a thing. Like she always just she holds back and then she says whatever comes to her mind. It's like damn Molly. You just told Issa. You just told Issa. Everything don't have to be so complicated. And then what do you go do whenever Andrew comes over to the house? You go and you complicate things. But fast forward, Molly and Issa are working out at Runyon Canyon, getting a run on. Molly is talking to Issa and Issa hesitantly tells Molly, you like drama she said do you want to be happy i was like dang <laughs> but honestly what did andrew say to molly whenever he got it from the table he said everything has to be an issue with you and when he said that i was kind of like you are exactly right but to my surprise andrew calls molly back and he apologizes telling molly that she was actually right so we're starting to see the rift in Issa and Molly's friendship because Andrew calls Molly back to one, apologize, and for two, to tell Molly that she was actually right. But you notice Molly doesn't even share that information with Issa. She probably just like, all right, like I'm gonna start telling you stuff. Haven't you heard people say, pay attention to how people react when you're winning. Pay attention to how people act when you read it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I don't think Issa was trying to be mean whenever she told Molly, do you want to be happy? It was, was no different than what Molly had said to her at the thing. Um, but anyway, I think that's all we got from this week's episode. We're starting to see the rift in Issa and Molly's relationship. Um, they also take us back to Molly's work life and how that's going with her male coworker yeah we didn't get that much i think that this is like a build-up i don't think we we probably won't get that much until episode four honestly i want to see something shake something shake with candola and lawrence so now two major things to discuss comment below is molly a toxic friend like everybody says and is Lawrence truly over Issa? What could be his reasoning for them not wanting to talk? Is it because it just makes him uncomfortable? I mean, I get it, but did you really have to go out of your way to meet Issa in person just to tell her that? I don't know. And then, um, Lucky Issa is overcompensating for the awkwardness. Ooh, Team Condola, Team Condola. Tell me what y'all think. But um, that's not it for this video. Keep watching. I'm not about to bake bake, you know, because it's, it's not it's not that real. We aren't going anywhere. But this is what I would usually do. I'm not going to bake bake. I am not really going to put on a whole bunch of contour either. When do y'all put on y'all's eyebrows? Do y'all put on eyebrows first, then foundation? Or do you do foundation, then eyebrows? If you're foundation and then eyebrows, comment a... Comment a dog emoji in the background for her. If your foundation and then eyebrows, comment a dog emoji. We on the same team. I mean, cause lucky, I feel like whenever I do eyebrows and then foundation, I end up having to touch up my eyebrows again anyway. So it's like, why not just wait till the end? Just wait till the end. Shoo! I'm gonna put it this way. These are display brushes. Cause this, 
this uh, concealer dries kind of fast. Like, I, I didn't have time to really, like, contour my nose the way I wanted to. You know what? That's okay. We're just going to erase it. Let's just erase it with the foundation. Like I was saying, these episodes are so short, Issa. Like, you were gone. You were gone for a whole year and a half, and we told you while you was out here making the photograph and this other movie that's about to come out, that we wanted one hour episodes. I would love a one hour episode. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, since we have down the basic face, next I will do my eyebrows. Let's go. Next, I'm about to go in with my eyebrows. My Anastasia Beverly Hills. My eyebrows are stepsisters, related through marriage. But whatever, we gonna roll with it. Next, I will put some highlighter on my face. I just got this Milani Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder from Amazon. Highlight, 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 highlight. Ooh, I think it's cute. I think it's natural, natural glow. Question, have y'all already planned your first day outfits? I mean, I just ordered a whole bunch of clothes from Shein haul coming soon and I'm excited to actually like hit day parties and stuff like I'm imagining myself at the day parties now but on the other hand <laughs> I might have to get that outside s like what you hear everybody saying I might have to get outside like two weeks to a month after y'all because I don't understand how everything is reopening I mean I don't trust it I learned this new trick um, from this Instagram. Kind of a hack that I learned from It's My Ray Ray and also uh, this girl I follow on Instagram. It's like Rianne something. Boop. I'll try to put her name like right here. Look her up on Instagram. She does like super cute makeups and TikTok videos and stuff like that. But anyway, if you're not the best at putting on lashes like me, what you wanna do is get the lash glue liner. So instead of putting the glue on the lashes, put it on your eyelid and just do like three dots. So I do like one in the middle, boop, 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 like a little line. And then I do one on the outer part, boop, boop, boop. And then I do one on the inner. And I try to do them thin because I don't want like the, I don't want the eyeliner look. So I try to do them thin. Taking my Wispies from Ardell Classics. And then, so the middle part is loaded. Do that side part. And then I have to attach the inner. Shout out to y'all who can put on eyelashes with your your nails clamping down on the lash and on my natural lash to try to mash them together this looks painful but it's not also be super careful if you do this and you put the tweezers close to your eye if you poke yourself don't refer back to this video all right now they're on they're good this lasts me the whole day and then I don't have to like fight with my eyelashes or fight with the glue to try to keep them on. For the final step, I'm about to take my Milani Make It Last setting spray and spray all over my face for the last all day. All right, this is the final look. This is my no makeup makeup look that I wear every day. It's a birthday party, no makeup makeup. Going to the club, no makeup, makeup. Going to work, no makeup, makeup. Grocery store, maybe some eyebrows if I feel like it. No makeup, makeup. To introduce y'all to my dog, Herc. Herc just minds his business and sleeps all day. 
he has RBF, which I call resting bulldog face, but Herc is the animal, animal version of me. Um, this is my baby dog. Hopefully y'all see him in more, in more videos. But if you like what you saw today, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.